Now there are going to be lots of times when you want to send the same email to more than one person. So what do you do? Do you write the email, copy the text, send that email, paste the new text into a new email, uh, send that email to another person, paste the text into a third email because you want to send it to a third person and send that off? Well, that would just be plain daft. And Microsoft has got a much better way of doing it. Let me show you how. So I've got an email ready to go about a meeting for the IT team. And I know it needs to go to Mr. Gordon. So if I type in G-O-R and click on check names, I can search for his name and click OK. Now I could, as I said at the start, press send and that email could go off. I could copy the email out again and send it to another person. But I want to send the same email to more than one people. And what I do is I simply type the next person's name in. Now, I've got two choices. I can either type in the person like this, because this is going to go to Ms. Smith, and click on check names and select her like that. Or what I can do is I can, at the end of Mr. Gordon, put in a semicolon and then type in uh, Ms. Smith's first three letters and check names. And it's just slightly easier for you that you know it's going to multiple people. Now the reason why I put the two teachers on the two line is because they're both attending the meeting. If I wanted to send a copy of that email to somebody else just to know what is going on, well I could click on the CC like this and I could write in the name of a person there. So for example I could copy it to myself if I wanted to. That would be a little bit strange but there we go. And CC means copy to. And that's where you send a copy of the email, maybe to the person, just to let them know what is happening. I'm ready to go. I can click on send. And that email is going to go to both of those people. And that's how to send the same email to more than one person.